The Army National Guard posting these pictures of some of the rescues they facilitated in Larimer County. Officials saying smaller helicopters will be needed to get into some stranded into the tight canyons there. 306 people in Larimer and Boulder counties still considered unaccounted for. More new video now from the Thompson Canyon in Estes Park. Huge sections of the road gone, having been sucked into the river. Once scenic homes along the Big Thompson heavily damaged. The process of rebuilding expected to take years. Work already being done, though, to help people get around. Air Tracker 7 finding these crews working to build a temporary bridge to help people get in and out of some of those flooded areas. We start our team coverage with 7 News reporter Lindsay Sublon. Lindsay, you got in closer to the canyon today. Exclusive access to see some of that damage. We are at the Wilson Bridge, about three miles east of where we got into the mouth of the Big Thompson Canyon. You can see debris scattered everywhere here, much like it was in the canyon. But somehow, miraculously, a landmark is still standing. It's just carved out by a massive amount of water. It's the view that needs no words. A look at US 34 heading west from the tower of the dam store. I was amazed to see that. Everything that way was completely destroyed and nothing was touched here. Owner Micah Noyes and his daughter JC gave 7 News an exclusive look into the mouth of the Big Thompson Canyon. The debris field of rocks, telephone lines and timber somehow touching every piece of land except theirs. It's encouraging to know that, you know, our family survived at one time. We can survive it again. Micah's grandparents bought the store in the 30s and were here when the 76 flood hit. With the tr difficulty in transportation, getting back and forth to town, maybe we'll change up our product line to help, uh, you know, people recover. The store is known as a tourist stop to Rocky Mountain National Park. They're already looking at how to help business and the community during this difficult time. It definitely has expanded 10 times more than it used to be. As the river rages by, crews clean up the power plant that was shut off before the flood. Across the river, a view of homes, the ground below undercut. The road to Sylvandale Guest Ranch also gone. Crews working to clean up the massive amounts of debris left by this once in a lifetime catastrophe. Just to live it, it's weird. Only every a thousand years. Every thousand. So I'm thinking next year is going to be better. Micah is still finding a sense of humor and hope during all of this. Now we have so many more images of our exclusive entry into the mouth of the Big Thompson Canyon. You can find those on the 7 News app. Reporting live in London, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.